Uh, we are talking right now about some of the rain and some of the flooding issues that we have seen come out of St. Louis. We had a disturbance in the eastern Ozarks overnight that pushed into Missouri and Fredericktown, uh, just outside of St. Louis, another place that is dealing with flooding issues. You can see some of the images that are coming in from people having to be rescued from floodwaters. It has been a long week for many folks in the Midwest and for St. Louis three times in a week that they have had flooding issues. You can see this particular street completely turned into a river as uh, the water came in too quickly and a lot of first responders have been out and about. Let's get to the latest on the radar and let me show you what's happening because moving into northern Arkansas and even portions of Tennessee right now, we're looking at another round of heavy drenching downpours, lightning embedded in these storms that are headed east of Little Rock. We also have Memphis. It's going to be getting some showers west of Memphis and right along the river there, we're looking for the heavy downpours. Uh, currently, there's a flash flood warning for Franklin and Williamson. This is going to go until 245 Central Time. And right now, they've seen flash flooding in that area from an official weather spotter. And so that's how that observation came in. Carbondale to Harrisburg, right along I-57. This is an area where there's too much water and they're having difficulty containing it on the roadways and beyond. So some vulnerable spots there. South of St. Louis and maybe its way north of Memphis. That batch of thunderstorms earlier today produced two to three inches of rainfall, according to the radar, and pockets of three to five. So a lot of water in these areas and drenching thunderstorms could repeat themselves. We actually have an area of low pressure, small little pesky low here that is trying to create some repeat thunderstorms in some areas. There's a larger force that'll shove this to the east. And as it does so over the well on the future track, you can see it over the next 12 hours or so, we're going to start to see those showers move into southern Illinois, southern Indiana, and portions of western Kentucky. That does continue on, marching eastward early on Friday in the mid-morning hours. We could be seeing rain once again for eastern Kentucky that continues through the afternoon hours. And these are some of the same areas, flood-prone areas, that will be seeing rain once again. Also, uh, portions of uh, central and southern Ohio getting rain and the hills of Virginia and West Virginia also getting out on the rain. Some of those showers are going to make their way eastward. As they do so, it will bring some relief for the temperatures, but not completely knock out the heat. So I guess there's a difference from upper 90s to low 90s, John, but all in all, 90 degrees, it's going to be hot going right through the weekend. It's just the degree of heat I think that people are going to have to contend with. If we bring the numbers down a little bit, that does at least uh, ease, ease some of the stress. Absolutely. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.